Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Ansel Larmshaw back again, and today we're bringing you another flipping challenge here in MLB The Show. Been a couple of weeks, maybe about a month or so since we've done one of these. So now that the market has changed a little bit, um, I wanted to come in and do another flipping challenge. And honestly, right now the market is in a really, really good position to come out here and flip some cards with today's challenge as well it's definitely going to be our biggest ever as we're doing it for a full hour as you can see right here above me and we have 500 000 subs to work with in investing in the market i'm not even sure we're gonna be able to spin all these subs before our hour runs up but we're gonna see how we can do spending an hour here on the market buying cars and then we'll go back through and sell them another thing i want to mention is that if you like these videos be sure to subscribe to the channel we just hit 4,000 subscribers the other day and when we hit 5,000 subscribers we're going to be doing another flipping challenge video except for this time it'll be for 12 hours long so 12 hours straight of me working the market me flipping it won't be a 12 hour long video no worries there but it'll be 12 hours straight of me working the market making stubs flipping cards we're going to build up a good stub count hopefully around the million stub range for us to be able to do that and to be able to spend a lot of stubs and you know we'll see how many subs we can turn that into so again if you enjoy these types of videos if you enjoy this video definitely subscribe so we can hit that 5,000 subscriber mark and have an awesome 12 hour flipping challenge video so without further delay let's go ahead and hop into things with this video here another stipulation we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing only gold players so gold players only is gonna be our target here for this video let's see what kind of profit we can turn with just an hour all right timer is underway let's dive into it one thing we are gonna do is first off i am gonna go to live series let's just get our max overall down to 84 and we're gonna start looking here i'm gonna pull my calculator up as always have my handy dandy calculator ready and as you can see right here the margins are pretty insane you know we're talking about uh a uh, hundred subs here on kluber they've calmed down a little bit if you're able to get on the market uh within the last week or so really closer to thursday friday there were three four hundred stub per card margins i think we're still going to be able to find some of those here i'm actually going to turn off live series uh, i think we're still going to be able to find some really awesome margins here and again as always when i'm going through here and when i'm looking i'm looking for a hundred plus stubs for flip after tax so we can see here with kluber he's right at 100 subs after tax and we can see there's even that guy who's overbid him by you know 40 subs or so we're gonna come in here and we'll go 18 18 and if we can come in there and get that i'm actually just gonna go ahead and do two because that's a really good price and go in here at 18 18 pop out those and we'll see what we can do um and we just kind of and, and, and we simply move on down the list her sizer he's that guy's loading up on a ton of hersheisers uh and he's about 100 sub each flip so we just kind of go down the list and if you notice one thing i don't do is i don't really micromanage more so i'm not going to come back in here and say oh let me you know i'm not going to come back in here and get rid of my orders if someone's overbidding me or undercutting me or whatever i'm just going to let it ride out on the mark i'm gonna let it sit because the whole game for me right now is how many orders can we get in and we want to get in as many orders as possible it's all about speed and efficiency so if i'm taking my time if i'm taking my time this is a i don't know if we're going to be able to get this flip off but it's a great one if we do that's for sure if i'm taking my time and worrying too much about people undercutting me or other bids going into place then what i'm not doing is spending time placing orders and actually flipping cards and at the end of the day that's our goal to come in here and do so i'm not gonna worry you know i'm gonna place my orders i'm not gonna worry when they get when they get fulfilled or not we'll go back through and sell everything afterwards what i'm gonna do is just come in here and place out my orders boom i didn't and it's simply i just go right down the line now some of these have really really strong margins i'm just not sure about our ability to sell them so i may stay off of these um as you can see they're really high good margins but i'm not super confident in my ability uh to sell them as you see that grinky goes through and i'm not gonna worry i'm not gonna worry about what goes through at this exact moment uh, if we were to run out of stubs then we would but again the goal is how many buy orders can we get in uh in the quickest amount of time possible so we're not worrying too much about going through and canceling orders micromanaging things you know 
all of that we're just going through and just honestly with the, where the margins are at right now it's just kind of go down the line and put an order on each one just about just about not quite exactly as chris bryan in a good one for example but uh there's some really really strong margins out on the market right now all right at this point we're gonna go ahead and speed up through the rest of this hour just want to give a quick little snippet to give a little bit of insight into kind of how we do and our approach so at this point we're gonna speed up through this next hour and then we'll come back and see how many subs we made at the end
but with, <laughs> with about two minutes remaining as you can see i accidentally actually turned off my timer i meant to go get my mouse over there to get it ready to turn off and in doing so i actually pressed the back button on the page and went back to the previous page so we lost our last two minutes but that's okay I was uh that was uh we bought a lot i'm gonna go through here and start canceling these orders maybe a couple more will go through as we're coming through here and canceling them uh and then this killer brew we're not actually buying that killer brew he's just there so we had the even 500 000 subs to work with we have a couple more going through here right at the end couple more orders going through here right at the end we bought a lot of cards uh all diamonds and gold live series players that is the only cards uh we bought into here except for that one wade boggs which may be a mistake there we'll see if we can get that way to sell uh going through here canceling these all these orders now we have a couple sell orders as we were going through especially on a couple of the diamonds i wanted to get those go ahead and get them up uh and selling so that i can potentially get some more stubs to help uh fund our buying habits so finishing out canceling these buy orders here we'll just go from the top now let's see how many subs we ended up investing so we started again with 500,000 stubs definitely the biggest uh the biggest amount we've ever flipped with before for a video here it was who it was a lot it was i felt like i was putting in buy orders for years uh we'll end up seeing what we came up with we had a really nice flip on hater uh the video may end up going too fast for it to go but we bought and we made about a thousand subs buying and selling him while we were going it looks like we're going to end up around three hundred thousand invested as a mike clevenger gets sniped right there as we're going through here and trying to cancel <laughs> trying to cancel all these orders a little bit less maybe closer to 250,000 uh invested which is still quite a bit uh to put on the market for flipping not to mention we've already had a couple flips go through and make us some stubs already we'll see man see if we can get through all these buy orders here and cancel these didn't have too many more left but again do we put an insane amount of orders in um <laughs> We were putting in orders in forever it was just it was that was that was a long hour i enjoyed it though i enjoyed it though but that was a long hour of buying uh cards so yeah right about 250k invested from this point we'll go ahead and skip to the end of this when we have all of our cards sold and we'll see how many stubs we end up with so just about everything has finished selling we have a couple items here i got a barking dog here in the background we have just a couple items that i'm still waiting to sell i just went through and relisted them for the sake of things but i won't wait any longer to let you know what the profits will be because these will sell at their current price i have no doubt about that there so in total from where we started starting with the 500,000, we're going to end up making just about 25,000. once you include these and take away the tax you're looking at 527,000. 542 stubs so 25,000 stubs made in just as an hour spent buying cards on the market and we canceled about 250,000 subs were the cards as well if i would have let those sit and go through i would have doubled that and made about 50 would have taken a lot longer though naturally so overall not a bad haul definitely the most we've made in one of these challenge videos so far obviously we still have these to sell but i have no doubt within the next 30 minutes or so they'll sell uh only spent about the last 30 minutes waiting on the current ones that we've had out to sell so i don't expect to wait too much longer for these to sell but i went ahead and just relisted them hopefully get them to go through relatively quickly i could have just sat them with the price that they were at too and they probably would have gone through as well so 27,000 subs earned in an hour of buying cards on the market probably spent about 10 10 minutes maybe going through and listing all the settlers and then at that point it's all just passive you walk away and the stubs get made for you so that's a really really good amount of stubs and that's gonna give me some more subs to be investing in in this next week on the market we're gonna be having another video coming out in the near future talking about the june player of the month that is coming out real soon and what our investment strategy look there's a little pup creeping in and what our investment strategy is gonna be for that 
I'm pretty excited for it. It's one of the best ways to make stubs there. As a reminder as well, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to like and leave a comment on what you've been doing flipping recently. I know, especially this last Friday, there were some insane margins on the market. Were you being able to take advantage of that? And be sure to subscribe as well. Again, at 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a 12 hour flipping challenge. And after doing this for one hour, <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, uh, cautiously optimistic about what a 12 hour flipping challenge would entail and how much we could return. And it'd be a little tiring, but I think we'd get it done. I think it'd be a lot of fun to do so. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe so we can hit that 5,000 subscriber mark. I appreciate everyone who watched this video, though. I hope you found it uh, beneficial, enjoyed it, maybe gave you some tips. There goes Cattell Marte, just went through right there. Hopefully, you found some tips and tricks and kind of were able to see. Uh, a little bit more insight into what I do while I'm flipping cards on the market. But until next time, I'll catch y'all around.